Ye Shall Receive Power, May 20, Directing the Publishing Ministry. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Our publishing houses were erected to do a work for the Lord, to send heavenly light to all parts of the world, to bring precious souls into the fold. Let the publishing house office be a missionary plant to do a work for the Master in the conversion of souls. Work and watch and pray for souls as they that must give an account. This year try the Lord's prescribed remedy for evil. Let every man do that which the Lord requires him to do, looking unto Jesus, who is the owner of every soul. Let the workers who have to act a part in this firm remember that God calls them to be a convention of Christian workers, a spectacle to the world, to angels, and to men. Let small companies assemble together in the evening or early morning to study the Bible for themselves. Let them have a season of prayer that they may be strengthened and enlightened and sanctified by the Holy Spirit. This is the work Christ wants to have done in the heart of everyone who is engaged in any department of the publishing work. If you will do this, a great blessing will come to you from the one who gave his whole life to service, the one who redeemed you by his own life. You must have the power of the Holy Spirit, else you cannot be an overcomer. What testimonies you should bear of the loving acquaintance you have made with your fellow workers in these precious seasons when seeking the blessing of God. Let each tell his experience in simple words. This will bring more comfort and joy to the soul than all the pleasant instruments of song that can be produced in the tabernacle. Let Christ come into your hearts. The work of every believer is aggressive. It is a daily warfare. Christ is saying to the managers and workers in the office, Ye are my witnesses. Think it, speak it, act it. Heaven is just next door. Open the door heavenward and close the door earthward. God is calling the workers in every department of the office. Will you hear his voice and open the door of the heart to Jesus? Will you love him who gave his life for you?